Hey, what's going on? Jonah here. And in today's video, I want to talk to you about why learning the harmonica comes really easily for some people and why it's really difficult for others. And if you understand this and understand what's causing some people to learn quicker, you might be able to rewire your thinking so you make more progress. So let's go and get started. We're going to go on a walk as we talk about all this. So one of the first things that I want to talk about is the difference between talent and hard work. So here's the deal. Some people are actually more talented in music, in athletics, uh, with intellectual pursuits. You know, there actually is talent. Some people are just wired differently and they pick things up faster. And I always hate this when you go and perform, let's say, and then someone is like, wow, you're so talented. But that always kind of annoyed me because like for me, okay, I might be talented. I, I play a bunch of different instruments, like that might be the case, but it kind of negates all the work that you do to figure something out because you know this, like when you're trying to learn an instrument, you need to put a lot of work in. It doesn't matter if you're really good, but you need to put a lot of work in. And some people may be able to put in less work because they're just wired differently. And this shouldn't be a surprise, you know? Some people are just really good at some things like I'm never going to be a basketball player uh, maybe if I grew another foot okay but uh, it, you know it, the world's not fair right people are different and people have different strengths and some people may have a different strength for music but one thing I want to point out is that sometimes there are people who are really talented but it actually kind of does them a disservice so I think about it like this if you ever uh, either met or been uh, the gifted kid in school, like everything just comes easily for you, right? Well, there's a certain point where a lot of those kids, uh, they face a challenge that they can't just breeze through. And then they actually have more trouble than the people who are doing the work all along, right? So even if you don't feel like you're talented at music, it doesn't mean that you're actually bad at it or that you can't figure it out. You just got to learn how to do the work. And thankfully, playing an instrument like harmonica, the work isn't that difficult. You just need to like play your scales every day. You need to get used to improvising and you need to actually like learn songs all the way through. And if you can force yourself to do those things, then you really can figure this out. It doesn't really matter how talented you are. Another reason why some people learn faster is simply because they're obsessed. And uh, it might sound silly to you, but you know, the reality is, is if you really want to make this thing work, if you really want this to happen, you'll find a way. And it's kind of a, a big lesson that I've learned over and over. Like I am an oil painter. Okay. So I, I use oil paints and I was not an artist. And at some point I was just like, I'm going to learn how to be an artist. I was dealing with some pain issues in my hands and I found out that I could paint. Right. And I was obsessed. Like I wasn't doing anything else in life. That was my main focus. And so every day I'd watch a bunch of YouTube videos. I'd try to figure it out. And in the evenings I just paint it for two or three hours. And what I realized in that experience is that if you just focus on this as the one thing that you're doing that you are crazy about, like you just really want to do it. You like with harmonica, like you listen to harmonica music during the day and you watch YouTube videos and then you play for two, three hours at night, like eventually you're just going to do this. You're going to figure this out and you're going to get really, really good at it. It's just a matter of time. Okay. So if you don't feel like you're making the kind of progress that you want to make in the time frame that you're looking for, you just need to ask yourself, are you actually like obsessed about this thing? Is this something that you really, really want? Because if you really, really want it, you're probably going to get it no matter how hard it takes. Like if you really, really want something, you are going to take different actions, right? Like you're going to go and get professional help if you need it. You know, the reality, and I think a lot of people don't want to admit this, but I'm telling you it's the truth is that there's a lot of people who try to learn how to play the harmonica but they're never going to get there without lessons. I mean, I'm someone who makes YouTube videos. Like I get it. Uh, I love being able to help for free, but it's just the case. Some people need that level of involvement. They need a teacher checking in with them week after week. Like I needed it when I was learning how to play guitar. I needed it. I was trying to do it 
on YouTube by myself and I just wasn't getting very far and at some point I'm like I got to go see a teacher because I really wanted it I was obsessed right and so you got to make sure that if you want something really bad you're probably going to take the actions that will actually get your results and be willing to invest some money and some effort into making this happen so you know if you're finding yourself that you're struggling to get where you want to get do you really want it bad like do you really really want it because it's hard, like learning how to play an instrument, learning how to be an artist, it's hard. It takes time. It's like learning a language. And if you, you know, get interested in learning a language and you do it for, you know, a couple weeks, well, that's great and all, but you gotta really want it to stick through with it for years at the level that will actually get you results. So if you don't feel like you're getting a lot of results quickly, you might wanna reassess how much you actually wanna do this. Another thing that makes a big difference is if you come into the experience of learning harmonica with a fixed mindset or a growth mindset. So let me explain. A fixed mindset is where you deal with a challenge and you find that you're having trouble and your immediate response is, oh, I'm just not good at this. You know, this is just something that I'm, I'm not very good at and I'm always going to be struggling with this. The comparison is if you come into the experience with a growth mindset and when you have a growth mindset and you run into a challenge, you're like, well, you know, yes, I'm experiencing this challenge and I might not be able to do it right now, but I know that if I keep going, I'll be able to do it in the future. And if that's the mindset that you have when it comes to really learning anything, you're going to get a lot farther, a lot quicker than anybody else because any challenge that you run into is not something you're going to hyper obsess over for a long time and just be like, I'm going to come back to it, I'll get better, and eventually you overcome those barriers. So make sure that you have a growth mindset if you want to learn quickly. Another thing that I think makes a huge difference is how you view creativity. Now, if you don't feel like you're very creative, I think you're kind of at a disadvantage when it comes to learning the harmonica because unlike so many other instruments, harmonica, a lot of the fun and the, the depth of it comes from improvisation, comes from making things up on your own, right? And you have to be open to being creative to really get anywhere, to really have any fun with this thing. and. It's not surprising if you feel like you struggle with this, that you're having that issue. I mean, think about going to school, right? We're not encouraged to be creative. You know, when we're children, we are, you know, drawing pictures and we're not really judging ourselves. We're not trying to censor ourselves and thinking about like, oh, I could have done this better. I should have done that better, which is the mindset that we have as adults, unless we try to break that down because you know we go through school and school says hey there's a right way and a wrong way to do things and you better do them the right way and uh, that's just not how it is in music especially when you're making stuff up on your own it's just it's really not that way at all you are just trying things you know a lot of creativity just comes from this mindset of experimentation like you know if you do things like if you're improvising if you have an experimentation, a creative mindset, and you start playing, you're gonna take more risks, right? You're gonna try things that you don't know if they're gonna work or not. Where if you are very tight and you're very judgmental, which is really the opposite of being creative, you're gonna struggle with this. And again, it's totally natural. We're kind of wired out of it, you know, with, with school, with work. I mean, most of work is like, here's the right way to do a thing, and you better do it this right way. Uh, and it's something you have to train yourself out of, and it's not necessarily easy. I've been, uh, thankfully, playing music for most of my life, and I don't really struggle with this a lot anymore, but the people that I work with, uh, private students, people in my coaching program, I mean, I see this. This is a big problem. So you really got to open yourself up to being creative, to trying things, to experimenting, and being aware that not everything is going to work out and that's totally okay. You want to turn down the part of your mind that is judgmental. And when you play something and you find that you make some sort of a mistake, that 
you want to be able to just brush that off. I mean, imagine you're a kid drawing a picture, okay? You're just not beating yourself up over every little thing. You're just letting yourself flow with that energy and that excitement and that's exactly the mindset that you need when it comes to learning the harmonica because harmonica is so focused on creativity okay so make sure that you're open to creativity and tune down that self-judgment part of your brain if you want to learn this instrument faster another thing that makes a huge difference is how far you're aiming this is something that I you know I really feel like if you are trying to be an excellent harmonica player like if that's the mentality that you come into this with you're gonna go a lot farther and not give up where other players are giving up like think of the harmonica players that you really enjoy and look up to they probably at some point down the road they decided that they wanted to get really good they probably didn't just become really good right it wasn't a fluke it was something that was you know planned and prepared for and they did the work and they did the work over a long period of time and then eventually they got to a level that they were really happy with right now if you think of someone who a uh, harmonica player that you really like doesn't have to be me okay think about what they would do when it comes to i don't know improvising right they're probably not going to give up after two minutes because they're judging themselves and all that no they're going to keep going and get to a point where they can be comfortable with the thing that they're trying to do or this is a big one learning a song okay song learning is you know kind of hard on harmonica but someone who just is, wants to be a master at this thing they're not going to give up when it's only somewhat okay right they're going to keep going and going and going until they can do this just without trying you know amateurs practice till they get something right and professionals practice till they can't get something wrong you really got to understand that right so there's some players out there that are just going to be better and they're going to pick up things faster because they have this mindset that even if they're not great now they're going to be amazing someday and an amazing player a great artist you know doesn't give up when the work gets hard you know it's it's a journey it's a challenge it's an adventure that you're on and when adventures get challenging you don't just stop right if you're going on a road trip and then it starts raining you're not like oh and just turn around no you keep going you power through it you push through things okay and i would like to bet that a lot of the people that you really love harmonica players artists musicians actors uh, they at some point decided that they're just going to be great at it and all of the little challenges that they face around along the way is just a normal part of the process right and if you have this mindset when you run into a challenge like a song that you're trying to learn that you can't figure out you're just going to keep working on it until you can play it you know you're not going to give up when it kind of sounds like the thing you're trying to get to or when you can play all the notes but they sound terrible like you're not playing a lot of single notes and that kind of stuff you're going to go further so if you come into this with a mindset that you're going to be excellent at it then you're going to make different decisions you know what you get in life comes down to what you do with your time and what you do with your time comes down to who you are okay if you have this mindset that you're gonna be this amazing harmonica player and even if it's a matter of time like you're gonna get there eventually you're gonna just do the work and make the actions and the you know you're gonna approach things in a way that's gonna lead you to a place of excellence and even if you never get to whatever virtuoso level that you're looking for it almost doesn't matter you know I wrote a song uh, a couple of years ago probably seven years ago now uh, called Periscope and there's a line in that song I'll, I'll play it at the end just for fun uh, there's a line in that song well if you aim for gold well maybe you'll get third place right but the thing is most players don't aim for gold you know if you got third place like in the world hey isn't that amazing <laughs> right but most players don't aim for the top they aim for somewhere in the middle like I just want to be okay at this thing but if that's the mindset that you take into this experience you're probably gonna fall short of it so why don't you aim higher and if you fall short you're still way above where you thought you'd be able to get to 
So that's why I think personally that some people have a very easy time learning an instrument and some people really struggle because the people that really get successful, they have an open mindset about their ability to grow. They feel like they could be creative and they could deal with the self-judgment and just kind of let it pass. Um, they're probably more obsessed than the other players who don't learn as quickly. And uh, yeah, you know, talent is a thing, you know, and of course age is a thing too, you know, if you are an older learner, you're going to have a slightly harder time than someone who's younger. I mean, it just is what it is. But if you have the mindset that you're going to get there eventually, does that really matter? I mean, this is one of those things where there isn't this end point that you reach that's all amazing. I mean, it's all a journey. Even once you get the skills and you develop a certain level of mastery, then it just becomes, what are you going to do with this skill set? What shows are you going to play? What are you going to put out? Uh, what videos are you going to make? What songs are you going to learn? It never stops becoming a journey. There isn't a place where you just kind of arrive, you know? And if you come into the experience feeling like you're eventually going to be excellent someday, you're going to make the decisions that get you to that place. You know, if you aim high, you might not hit that peak, but you'll get to a place where you were, you know, much higher than you would get to if there was no intention in that experience, right? So, yes, some people, it's just more of a natural thing, but for most of us, it just really comes down to the work that you're doing and how open you are to getting better and actually sitting down and, and doing the work and playing for long enough to actually get somewhere, make a breakthrough and master some skills. So that's my advice to you. If you can adopt the mindset that I went over today, I think you'll have a lot easier time learning this instrument because in reality, all of your progress comes from what you're thinking about, not just what you're doing, because what you think about determines what you do. And if you don't feel like you're going to be very good at this, or if you feel like it's a struggle, like it's this heavy thing that you're doing, if you feel like you're no good and you're never going to be good, well, you're right. <laughs> but if you feel like you're going to be able to get there and you're going to be excellent and you're going to be non-judgmental and open to trying new things and experimenting, you're also right. Okay? Both of those ways will get you there. And I know which mindset I'd rather have. So I hope this helps. I'm going to share the song that I mentioned earlier, Paris, Periscope. It's one of the first songs I ever recorded. It's a little odd. I was experimenting with a lot of harmonies at the time, but just stick with it. It blooms like a flower. So I hope you enjoy it. Put up your periscope, your eyes need to see the whole scope of the picture. It expands every day. And when we wander out, you will just come about these days we are hoping be.